World News Now Sports, brought to you by Tums. All right, admittedly, from time to time, we can be a little sarcastic or a little bit cynical on this broadcast. No. No. Sometimes. But I'm not going to today because there's a very real sentiment which exists here, except uh, suffice it to say that I have my uh, Thalia Shuris World News Now doll next to me, as seen on TV, with easy style hair that it says. It says you pull the string and it disappears for eight months. The string may be pulled a little bit longer longer this time, but I don't want to, I want to yeah. sort of ease into this if it's okay. I like the outfit, this is an though. emotional thing. Yeah. You, I think, you know. What kind of shoes? Mm -hmm. You're barefoot in that mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about this a little bit. Wanted to see a little sports first? Sure. <sighs> The San Francisco 49ers wasted little. <laughs> they wasted little time in picking a new head coach. I'm just going to do this. Just 24 hours after George Seifert handed in his resignation, the Niners, as had been rumored, named Steve Mariucci to, <laughs> to succeed him. 41-year-old Mariucci spent this last season as Look the University of California's nice. head coach. Yeah. Mr. Blackwell would not like that. No. That was actually his only experience as head coach. Uh. Cal finished with a 6-6 six and six record. Prior to that, Mariucci was an assistant coach with the Green Bay Packers. He becomes just the third man to coach the 49ers in the last 18 years. Okay. In the NBA, there was lots going on tonight in Houston, or last night, rather, unless we're predicting the future, where the Rockets played host to the Sacramento Kings. Charles Barkley had 18 points and 16 <laughs> rebounds for the Rockets, but he left in the third quarter with a twisted right ankle and will miss one game. Scary moment happened in the first quarter when Othello Harrington accidentally... See that? And trying to jump over him. He needed oh. with a knee. Tyus Edney of the Kings in, in the head, as you saw, trying to jump over him. And he lost the feeling in his arms and legs again. It was delayed 10 minutes while he was mobilized and taken to the hospital. Good news is x-rays were negative and his feeling did return. Akeem Olajuwon was hit with two technicals and ejected for arguing with the Rockets revealed 89 to 80 over Sacramento. All right, a big upset in college basketball as unranked Temple went into the Lions' den in Ohio and beat fourth-ranked Cincinnati. Temple held Cincinnati star Danny Fortz into a season-low nine points. Meanwhile, this was a Pepe Sanchez nailing uh, the three-pointer. Did he do it on Yeah. For the I, 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 I was watching. Either way, they smelled upset. Rashid Brokenborough. And you know what that can smell like. <laughs> came out of a... Rashid? No! <laughs> He came out of a uh, shooting slump, and he did very, very well. He led the way as Temple won it big, 72-55 wow. over Cincinnati. All right, more, uh, more scores. ABC's World News Now will continue after this from our ABC station.